Yeah, look at ourselves. Man, I look crazy as fuck. All right. Hi, World War II Nazi gas mask guy. How are you? With your beam popped in your ass. Oh, look at you. Achievement unlocked. What a strange trip it's been. You think the first thing you do is check your wrists? Do we check our arms? Fuck no, we don't. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Hi, hey everybody. Welcome back to the park. Uh, last time we went through the Ferris wheel and the, the crazy carny place. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way inside. Inside. You got your flashlight now, dearie. The park. Has it always done this? I don't think it did. Could be wrong. It's loading though. Don't leave me. Achievement unlocked. House of Horrors. Man, they're just giving out achievements. Hmm. Hey. <coughs> Read page. I'm all about it. Atlantic Park has closed its gates. A, a jeering thong of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I'm not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston. I have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Hi. So the place closed down. <coughs> oh, let's take a look at ourselves. Man, I look crazy as fuck. All right. Hi, World War II Nazi gas mask guy. How are you? With your beam popped in your ass. Oh, look at you. You're terrifying. More mirrors. Also very scary. Spooky mirrors. Spooky cardboard cutouts. More mirrors. Oh, it's a werewolf. Are you in the mirror? I don't believe you're in the mirror. Oh, you're in the mirror. You gonna poof too? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Don't believe them. I wanna I wanna read this. More Nazi guys. Alone. Turn around. Why have you done 
out with them. Don't let him take me. Uh, okay. You said turn around. I don't believe you. But look, it's Mr. Bones. Bones Malone. Hello? It's you again. Show yourself. Okay. I'm getting like ass backward lost in here. Huh. Okay. So we go this way. Towards the wolf guy. Spooky wolf. You gonna come after me in the mirror? No? That's a shame. Oh! Spooky demon! Uh, can I go this way? Don't make me look at it. Don't make you look at what? Excuse me. No? Yeah, am I missing something? Oh, was I supposed to go this way? I didn't even see that. Don't leave me! Give it to me! Oh, here we go. Uh... Incidents and I cannot dismiss them at random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its internal function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. You are a pretty horrible mutter. mutter. You're a pretty horrible mutter, bird, bird. What? Did I miss it? I think I missed it. It's a shame that we don't have some of these. I didn't get to see any of these ice sculptures they're talking about. I'm like preaching so heavy about them. Hello? Open door! Okay. Locked. Window. Window. Locked. Ow! Oh great, my flashlight doesn't work. Examine! Nightmare Circus! Lovely by Fern Calm. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, dark soul wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father. Coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. 
Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make a payment listed on your last bill. Contact us at blah, 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 and we can make arrangement of payment plans so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us on blah, 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 blah to discuss your options. Three, if you're unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. A winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. The Dunwich Power Company. Hunger, true story of the Donners, a shocking true story. Famine Press. On April 16, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It became one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts has uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. In this never-before-seen expose, read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. Shocking. Leave me alone! This is baseball cap. Ooh, a Rubik's Cube! Can I, can I do? Can I do, please? Please? I'm good at Rubik's Cubes. I love you from Callum. Oh, what a tyke. Oh, pack of cigarettes. Is it Lucky Strikes? Lucky Stars. Close enough. Show yourself. The Wilding by Susan Escombe. Um, with this novel, Susan Escombe, uh, Clements, <clears throat> her place as one of the most important scientific writers of this generation. The wilting. A solar flare struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. Young meteorologists search desperately for a way to stop global overheating. <laughs> and an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world. Again. Dynamic. Exciting. Bombastic. Everything we come to expect from Ascombi novel. Chance O'Hara is back. And you better believe she's bigger, better, and bolder than ever. Oh. Never underestimate the scientific pursuits and powers of a stripper. Read shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. Remember. Never fix that faucet, eh? Examine wrench. What have you done with him? Can I can I open? No? Okay. Some chicken, some fruit, some wine. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah. Read letter. Done with emergency services in Mallard. We agreed on our meeting today. We considered you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering or relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Dr. Spencer Dunwich Medical. Yeah, clean bill of health, eh? A likely story. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, you refused to answer any of my letters. Uh, and now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man. I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. <clears throat> Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man. <clears throat> but I need to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking up old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Colum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Like, is that her mom? <clears throat> that seems a bit rough. Okay, whatever. She got a shitty mom. Happens sometimes. Emergency Dunwich Services, Discharge, 1977. Uh, Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Her discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from a grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are several unresolved issues with her father. 
After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made rapid recovery. Uh, Lorraine has a newborn child, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It's our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be effective caregiver. <coughs> Lorraine has her own house and her employer, Susie, has said that she welcomed the return of her shifts at the diner. Normal Creed, Norma Creed, a local woman, is offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. Uh, isn't she the chick that saw what's-her-face or the, the chipmunk stabbing the guy in the face? Uh, with this support network in mind, we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. The prescription for Zoloft can be filled at Flag Pharmacy in Kingsmith. She's been advised to start with 50 megagram dose, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that was a chick that was like, saw the dude stabbing somebody in the face. Miss Mallard, our inquiry into the state of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that your primary benef uh, beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, <clears throat> the deceased parents. Her agency made contact with Mr. and Ms. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regrets uh, regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not respective to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies of Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation. I hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, whatever attorney. Wow. What a dick move. <clears throat> oh. Oh, really? Are we doing the whole PT demo thing where it just keeps looping? <clears throat> Is it just going to get prog progressively more scarier? Uh, Lorena, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse, like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. We go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guy relaxed and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind, but when this job is done we need to get out of this place i need to go back to the city where i don't feel like this anymore i love you donald p.s i was thinking about names for boys and girls i like callum for a boy and emma if it's a girl oh that's cool are they still here night circus examine take two tablets by mouth when you're having an episode um, 100 milligram tablet, 24 tabs, Valium. Uh, nice, nice. What are you? Oh, the eviction notice. Mommy and me in car. <laughs> I guess got all the fumes and shit coming out the back of the car. Examine drawing. I love you from Callum. More pills on the floor. Lots of pill bottles everywhere. Lots of pill bottles everywhere. Nope. Fucking bitch. Milk, cheese, butter, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Zola prescription. Remember, take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organized babysitter for Callum. Did that fix the sink? I sure as fuck didn't fix the sink. Examine wine. F nasty ass fish. Looks like I'm drinking heavily and taking lots and lots of pills. Who was that? Uh, I didn't run away. Dad took me. Oh. Okay, great. Thank you, William. The new watch is very nice. It has made me a happier carrot.
Spilled coffee. Uh, okay. And again. Lovely. Now. Sis. Oh God. <clears throat> Uh, uh, we go for drinks after work. It gets a bit better. The guys relax and we laugh, whatever. Don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. Wait, on, let me. Okay, so it's burned. Whoa. More pills. More eviction notices. More hunger. Uh, let me look at this, because it keeps saying that I can look at this. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Story of Hansel and Gretel. Okay. A long time ago in a forest in the woods, there lived a woodcutter's wife and two children, a boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They very poor and had little to bite or sup. The story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered compelling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. And there's never before expose read about how their parents inexpertly tried to cover it up by telling stories about a witch and a house made of candy. All here in the pages of the shocking fake story. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I want to see what's behind this book. Nightmare Circus. <clears throat> a chipmunk goes a stab, stab, stabbing in the eyes of jab, jab, jabbing. All the townies gab, gab, gabbing. Just lie down and let it happen. Basil Gangnelia win. Yeah, that's cool. The backs of the covers change. That's great. Oh, his baseball cap is gone. It's got blurred on it. Oh. Bye bye. Her lie. See her try. Her cry. Her why. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> okay. We shopping list. Milk still off prescription. Cheese still off prescription. Okay, I get it. Remember more pills tickets to Atlantic Island Park. I think it's much worse. This is just full of wine. Mom in a car crash. Water heater, door. <clears throat> a history of Solomon Island. It's just Solomon Island, okay. Don't leave me. I didn't run away, Dad took me. Uh, okay, so it's just tore up. Examine more Zoloff. We notice. Uh, okay, it's just more degraded. Oh. Okay, great. <clears throat> oh, they're not even trying anymore. The door's just staying open. Oh. Are you eating bad chicken? You know you are. Examine. Boogeyman goes walk, 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 and sneaking, stealing a stalk, stalk, stalking. Is he really a talk, talk, talking? Now it's not the time for balkan. Cerebral cortex win. I don't think your cerebral cortex is actually winning at this point. Hunger, the story. Mm. 
Woodcutter's dead. The witch always wins. The woodcutter's dead. The witch always wins. Uh, on the pages of this broken story. More blurred. Uh, okay. See her cry, see her try, say bye bye, her lie, her why cry, see her try. Oh, it's just a baby head. It's empty. Okay. The wilting. Oh, damn, I forgot about this book. The wilting. The sun will have struck the earth. Millions of cattle are uprooted from their homes. The young shadows search desperately for a way to stop global domination. As Don does to listen, the rain is the key to saving the world again. Dynamic, exciting, irrepressible, everything we've come to expect. Answer us, Lorraine. Novel. Lorraine, we're watching. You better believe, believe she's bigger and better. With Can You Hear Us, Lorraine? <clears throat> Examine. Who the fuck is that? Is that Lorraine and her dad? My two best friends, Dawn and Laura. Wait, so is Dawn not dead? Is he... Am I getting that wrong? I thought Dawn died. Free shopping list. <clears throat> Remember, you're alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you're not even trying with that sink anymore, are you? Can I open the door now? An ice pick. Hang on. Hang on. Examine drawing. Okay. There's a baby in the oven. Hmm. I am hungry for hands. What was that examine? Examine this? Hmm. You gonna be all jump scary now? Read the letter. Uh, Miss Mallory, we agreed in your meeting today that we considered you to be a batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you're in no way sound of mind and body and you're dangerous to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, and as often as you can, that shit can only make your life better. In case there's any doubt, you're suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock, Dunwich Medica. Okay, so more fucked up, we notice. <sighs> okay, so now that's just tore up. Yeah, that's just scribbled out. Again? All right, like two times I think would have been max, but now it's just like, okay. <clears throat> Things are looking a little better. Lorraine, Lorraine, I need you to focus on what we're discussing. The chipmunk killer, Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Nathaniel Winter hasn't been seen in years, but he's nowhere near Atlantic Island Park. We've established this. You know this. Okay. Okay, that's nothing new.
More blurred. See him die, see her cry, see her try, see her lie, say bye bye, ask her why. The wilting. We're talking, can you hear us, Lorraine? The killing, a son will be devoured, all the cattle will be enslaved, the shadow lies in the future, our domination. If you're... Listen, Lorraine, you're the key to damning the world. We are responsible. Only you can join us, Lorraine. Lorraine, we are one. My two best friends, Dawn and Laura. Strange that that didn't change. Oh. Forget Don, Dad, Karen, not him. Oh, there's blur dripping from up there. How's the sink? Pretty fucking terrible, actually. Oh, it's a nice pick through a bear eye and a in a thing a rat corpse am I gonna go in here now no maybe next time I can't even say anything now Okay. You will watch me rot. Lovely. What am I eating it now? Come on. I don't even know why I try with these doors anymore. They don't do anything. Oh. Someplace new. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, Mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. But I am. Aren't I? Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. Like hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Please, make me see. Eyes without sparkle, huh? Given to me. Must be something on the other side of that. I'm assuming such. Yep, examine book. Hansel and Gretel. Oh. Calum. Calum. Oh, those pants, though. If you pulled them down a little bit. <clears throat> Calum. 
Oh. He's on the slab. Sorry, baby girl, have me picking green beans and corn. Oh. Ew, he's got like one like finger. That's a strong hand. She stab him in the heart? things all the time the fuck is that a wasp take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son in my heart and mind I always return to Atlantic Island Park. She been a lot dream like state. Okay. Um it was really good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh I especially liked the first two episodes, I suppose. This third one was a little eh. Because of the whole just taking straight from fucking PT demo, the looping hallway, basically. Um, it kind of blew my mind about the wasp at first. Uh, when he first brought it, I was like, why the fuck is he bringing a wasp? It's not a wasp, it's a bee. And it was for the honeycomb because the park is actually, this is sort of a, um, a standalone game, but it's based off of an area in the multi-MMO uh, secret world. It's a free-to-play game. It's actually really good. Uh, I played Secret World for a long time, but I, once again, I play by myself, so I lose interest in MMOs really fast. If I had a group that you know I, I could go with, then it, it would be easier. But <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, they used bees and honeycombs and stuff like that uh, all throughout the uh, the Secret World. It's like how they transport things, how they explain mysteries and shit. Um, so I mean, that's a pretty cool like little jab in there. Um, obviously she killed her son, but, I mean, she must be under investigation, like, maybe, like, a missing persons that she registered under, um, and they're looking for her son, or maybe they already know that she killed her son, and this is just therapy, um, but overall, I really liked the game, I thought it was great, um, yes, 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 <clears throat> I like the scenery. The scenery was great. I'm glad it was a walking simulator. Like I said, I think the only thing that kind of killed it was that it turned really slow. But I, I'm i fairly certain that that's because uh, I was using my controller as opposed to using a mouse and keyboard. I'm pretty certain if I used a mouse and keyboard, I could turn a lot faster. Um, but that was really it. I mean, I, I like the visuals. I thought they were great. Uh, I like the soundtrack. I thought it was great. Uh, she came off as fucking batshit crazy. Um... And it wasn't a big twist that she had killed her son at the end, but it was a little bit of a twist for me, the fact that she was, like, in a police station or something. I think that kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I kind of knew that there was going to be something going on with her brain. Um, that she was crazy or something, just because of the fact that... I mean, it went from, like, afternoon to, like, midnight in the course of a fucking escalator ride, and then, like, everything was broken down, everything was obviously very much does you know intended for her so there's that 
All right, uh, I guess that's it. So thanks everybody, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, because I sure did. I thought it was great. You can pick it up for yourself if you really want to. It's like 12 bucks, 12 or 13 bucks on Steam. However, the game is is good, but where the money comes in is this stuff. Um, you play the park, you beat it apparently, and then you get a psychological thriller set for the secret world. Uh, so if you play Secret World and you want like a chipmunk killer outfit and the woodcutter talismans, um, then you would enter your username and your password here and then it would upload. Uh, yeah, and then of course you, they allow you to download the trial and stuff. I might, I might get back into it, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, probably not. So uh, I guess that's it. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Did you guys like the park? Did you not like the park? Uh, what you like about it, what you dislike about it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.